Hi everyone, my name is Jess and I am a thriftaholic. I have a really big haul today. I went to two mega garage sales that I look forward to every year and I spent a total of $80 and most of this is vintage. I just want to go ahead and get started. I didn't sort it, it's just chaos. So let's get started. I will let you know it's going to be a longer video. So please grab a drink if you just want to listen. I will be showing you guys all the items. The first one I want to share with you is probably one of my favorites. And I did take pictures of it already and it is a 60s maxi dress. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's like a mint green color and a chiffon. It has the nice puff sleeve with, with an underneath floral print with the crochet empire waist trim. It is stunning. I plan to ask like, 125 for it it's a size four um I, I will if it's like mint condition i will check it is marked by a designer so i will check comps but if it's just a no name i'll list it about 125 and that piece i really can't tell you my cost of goods honestly i haven't counted and there's so many here i really don't know but the first place i went was 37 dollars, and i'll insert the picture here of everything I got. I'm gonna say like maybe 25 cents a piece. Okay, so this here we have a cream colored 90s poo hoodie. Really cute with the kangaroo pocket that he's popping out behind. Embroidered honey. Um, I do sell some poo stuff, their baby blankets do well. Their apparel tends to sit, their plus size poo stuff does more uh, decent for me but here is the label and this is a size large and I'm going to say it is true to size it's kind of boxy now this was this is how it was and I just grabbed it it was with the Christmas stuff obviously this is Christmas stockings and it's a lot of them and it just had this cool print on it so I cut it home and there's four of them. They're in like new condition. Sometimes people will get these and they will um, have their names embroidered on these. There are four, like I've said, and check out the ornament print. They felt like nicer quality, uh, <laughs> but I was pleasantly surprised. It says Heartwood Creek, but what caught my attention was the Jim Shore. My mom collects Jim Shore stuff and it is highly collectible and sought after. So I, these go for like 20 a piece, I think. I don't know, I'll have to do a little bit more research, research, but I will sell these as a bundle. And I'm excited about that. I am sorting my pile because I got so much. The winter items I'm going to put near the end because I got tons of Y2K bathing suits that I am so excited to show you guys. This next one I need to do a little bit more research on, but it's a really cool Alaska wolf print. But as you can see, I thought there was some slight discoloration on this and I'm like, oh, that's okay. I can give it a bleach bath because it's a screen print and it'll look brand new. But I looked at the tag and it is color changing. So this is for the Northern Lights. Obviously it says Northern Lights right here. And so I think it changes with the sun. I don't know if it's the sun or maybe just heat, body heat. I'll do a little bit more research, but I got it mainly just for the print. I thought it was cool. Even the coloring is on the arm. So I just love nature tees and that one I had to grab. This next one I grabbed because it was a little bit older. This is, uh, I think, 90s. Yeah, or maybe Y2K. It's on a softy tag, and it's a navy hoodie in a dark blue. And I mainly got it because it was a double hit. A lot of times you see these, and there's just a graphic on the front. But there is the tag, extra large, nice size. I think it also said made... Yeah, made in the USA. I saw comps for these all over the place, but I don't know, $35. 
and I went to these both garage sales with a stroller because you buy so much and you want to be quick and I just toss stuff in my stroller and uh, it holds a lot. I also had a wag like two wagons or something crazy. All right, this is just a men's black cashmere pullover. Nothing fancy about it. It's very basic. Club Room is a brand I typically always pass on, but it's 100% cashmere. So I did go ahead and pick it up. And obviously I'm going to put that near the end of my death pile and probably list it for $35. I typically pass on Ann Taylor Loft or just like Loft. I'll pick up certain Ann Taylor pieces if they're more substantial. But this one was new with tags and it is a cream colored plaid like poncho style. I will take the sale tag off. It retailed for $65 and it's a medium slash large. It's just kind of like a pullover poncho sweater, short sleeved with the rounded side hems. This would be really cute to just throw over anything, really. I sold the matching beanie to this over the winter. Can't remember how much, but this is just, it's cashmere. That's why I picked it up. It's Max Studio, and I think this tag is like Y2K, but it is gorgeous, nice condition, infinity scarf. I love selling terry cloth robes and because of the price I went ahead and picked this one up. They're usually very well priced in my area. This is, do not know the brand, but it's a large, extra large. It's made in Turkey and it is just white. Nothing fancy about it. I do only pick them up if they have their waist ties as that is important. and. Yeah, so very basic. Got some jackets, some men's jackets. This one is plaid fleece lined. I really like the pattern on the inside. This is denim with the flat pockets, button closure. It's 90s, large. Another men's jacket. I like this one. It's Sherpa lined. Again, very similar chore-ish style. Great to wear with really anything. And then this one I, I took a risk on. Like I said, I did not look anything over. The It was very dim lighting in this church. I was just throwing stuff in because I knew everything was very cheap. This is a vintage double-breasted wool blend pea coat, like a long one with a fur collar. However, when I got it home, I noticed there is some discoloration along the neckline and the liner is split in the middle along with the armpits. Obviously the liner is, it's fine. It's not a big deal. <laughs> However, there are some moth holes because I did not look over this super close, but because of the kind of fuzzy texture, I'm going to brush the uh, fabric, it's a mixture of, I think acrylic and wool, I will double check. And I think a lot of these can be hidden in the color. Because of the color, um, I also think it's not super noticeable. I was going to try to show you the most noticeable part right here. And it's near the bottom hem. So it's not that bad, but again, this is probably gonna be a, ooh, the collar is shutting on me a little bit. Uh, this will be a little bit of a slower sale, and I see a spot on the elbow. So that may have been something that I should have passed on, but, and let me say, there was so much stuff. They hadn't really done much since the whole COVID thing, and so people had been really hanging on to their stuff, and it was nuts. I mean, I could have gotten so much more if I wouldn't mind selling things for like $15, but I'm trying to sell items for $30 or more because I'm part-time and because I don't have much time to put into my business. Okay, this one I love. It's a very dark brown men's leather sport coat. And it is, I have seen this brand before and I think I may have sold it. Dries, 
Drysdale's. Very nice condition coat. I do not know what I'll list it for. Probably around 75 or 100. I will check comps. Actually, I think I did look that brand up and I couldn't really find anything. So, and then this one also, there's a flaw in it I didn't see, but it is probably, I don't know what decade. I'm going to say 80s. Maybe, I don't know. You guys, what do you think? I want to say 80s possibly. It's maybe 70s because there's no shoulder pads or anything. It's a quilted double-breasted jacket. It's nylon. It's got these cool textured buttons. But it is, I think it's missing. Yeah, it's missing a decorative button. And so I didn't even check on the inside yet if there was an extra, but I have tons of vintage buttons. And so I think I can find one similar. If not, there's a decorative button right here that serves no purpose. As long as it won't damage the fabric, I will just remove that and stitch it on for the practicality so the jacket can close. Again, this is all stuff I'm gonna be listing probably next fall because I have so much other great stuff that I think will sell now that people are searching for. I did find quite a few linens. Uh, the When I paid a different price than what I told you before, I will let you know. Their linens, they keep folded up into a bag. And so it's hard, like I was just grabbing stuff. I have not checked it. Um, and I did open some things and do a little bit of research yesterday when I was sorting, but this is a King Duvet with a sham for $3. That is an amazing price. So I said, yes, I do really like the floral print. However, I was hoping it was better quality. Um, as soon as I felt the sham, it feels like a lower end fabric. I do still really like the print. Unfortunately, there is only one sham, I think, and the tag is nothing fancy. If I would have had more time, I would have checked the tag to see the brand. Like, do you see here? There is nothing. So I, it's hard to say. It says made by, it regulate, there's a regulation number. So I guess I can look that up. It's not the registration number, or WPL. Uh, but anyways, this will be based solely off the of style. Again, only $3 and so I'm just hoping there is not a flaw. Oh wait, there is another sham here. I just didn't see it, I think. I don't know, I'm not even going to unfold it, but it, I mean, these people take a lot of time to nicely fold and package their items, but as a buyer, you want to see it on a hanger so you can open it up and make sure it's clean and you wanna make sure everything is, like you wanna look at the brand, the fabric, all of that stuff. And so as a shopper, I'm not a huge fan of, of how they do that, but, I do love the price, so I can't complain too much. This one is fun. Check out the retro floral faux patchwork. This is probably 60s or 70s. This one was only $5. I think this is also a king size comforter. However, some of the hems are coming unsewn. I will look it up. I didn't see a tag looking like just really briefly. As you can see right here, it has just simply come unstitched. But I, looking at the stitching, I'm trying to determine if this was a handmade piece. Um, I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments. But as I hold it up, do you see there are weird seams here like that it oh i see that's when it lays over the edge of the mattress okay anyways i'm going to sell it just like this i don't want to pay someone to fix just the edges because you could still easily use this but yeah i just thought it was a really fun bright print and it would look nice in someone's house if they like that retro look Okay, like I said, I did not sort any of this. Funny story with this hat. So when I saw this hat, I thought of a certain brand. 
how awesome would it be to find this brand that I think I found once ever before? And it is Banana Republic, but it's not any Banana Republic. It is the old Banana Republic when it was uh, Safari style. This is 100% cotton. It is water repellent. It's a size extra large. I absolutely love this. And I think I can get about $40 or more for it. $2.50 is what I paid. The story along this hat is that, like I said, I used my stroller as a shopping cart and I was getting near the end to check out and my stroller was overflowing with stuff, right? And I was about 10 feet away from it because I was looking at something and this place was packed. I couldn't easily use my stroller to go everywhere with me. So it was near me and a, an older gentleman <laughs> picked up my hat for my stroller. And so I had to walk over and be like, oh, hey, that's mine. And he apologized and stuff like, I don't think he intentionally did it, but again, people like, it's kind of obvious. It was mine. Anyways, it is what it is, but I got my hat. <laughs> Funny. Yeah. Uh, today on Instagram, I forget who it was. They said a way to deter people from taking stuff out of your cart is to wad up a Kleenex tissue and put it on top of the stuff to make it look like a used tissue because hopefully people wouldn't want to touch your stuff. That's a tip. Okay, I have a box here of plush and shoes. The shoes I got all, again, at that place I probably paid 25 cents a piece for. And first pair we have are these really cool dark brown Ugg boots and they are a good size too. I think they're like a woman's eight or eight, no, eight and a half. I forget the style name, but they do well. Like I think 75 to 85, depending on what time of year. The plush is near the end of the checkout and it is free. They do this all the time. Most of the plush, they just say it's free. Um, all the stuff is free donation. So it's not like they're paying for any of it. And I will sort through some last time. I think I went a little crazy. But this guy, I loved him, this little gorilla or ape. He is very soft and he <laughs> is vintage. He is by TB Toy Company and I mean it doesn't really matter but even I've seen people be posting Walmart plush that are selling for like over $50. So it really doesn't, I mean it's supply and demand. What is somebody willing to pay for that, you know? Love him. The next one I thought might be worth more money, but someone has some price for like $15. So I don't know what I will do with this one yet, but just a nice cute there with a collar. I like this guy. He is jointed and he is Grizzle. I don't even know the name of this company. It looked a little bit more substantial, like a higher end brand, but I don't think the resale is very much. I got this duck. I think he is so cute. Very fluffy. I didn't realize it was uh, a squeak, like a, I need to replace the battery, but he quacks. How adorable is this little guy? I tried, <laughs> the way his fur was, makes made him look like he was mad, but I tried moving. He almost looks like he's mad. I don't know. He is by Walmart. And again, if he's somebody's lovey, then they will, you know, pay a good price for him. I just, oh, so cute. If he's not worth anything, we'll just keep him. My kids love plush. But, yeah. The next one, again, it's like a hard stuff vintage. Luigi. Um, Mario Brothers. This one looks fairly old, like probably more towards 70s maybe even older again comps were kind of mixed I love selling this type of plushie it, I call them like puffalum style and they sell well for me like 20 30 dollars typically and this one does look a little older I'm gonna say 80s it's by ace um he's a little faded though so this cute hat I had to pick up. I really looked for the doll because strawberry shortcake is highly collectible and I did not see anything. I think someone just hand knit this cute little hat and I can't decide if I'll sell it or if I'll keep it. 
I may just keep it because it I don't think it would yield me but maybe $15 so we will see on that okay now I have shoes uh, nice shoes at this sale again they were about a quarter piece and loved these keen sandals with the nice rubber sole like an outdoor brand like the color and the pattern on this one look at those nice soles sometimes you'll see them in the thrift and they're covered in mud and stuff because people hike outside with these um this one is a size eight sorry everything's like shutting on me <laughs> all right here we have a pair of women's kilty justin boots and a size eight and a half i love these this one right here can you see the coloring on the dot or the leather has worn off but not near as much as this one so i don't know if they're a rider and yeah i don't know there's got to be some reason but i have black leather dye that all i do is it comes out like on a sponge and that covers it and make them look good as new comps on these weren't near as great i think they're looking more at 35 but it's made in usa so i think i'm gonna shoot more towards 50. born shoes people look overlook all the time and i was recently doing my spreadsheet of solds and i recall selling a pair of born boots for like over 50 dollars and i was kind of surprised i had forgotten but here we have a pair of born booties like new condition again what size are these these are nines so th these are my size but um i prefer uggs i'm just from that era you know they are just too comfortable and then this pair of shoes is timberland pros with the uh either composite toe or steel toe these are a women's again <laughs> look at that these are in great shape six and a half so these are slightly smaller but i think they were selling for over fifty dollars if i remember correctly this bag really cool vintage tartan plaid like a little overnight bag but what i loved well and it's got the plastic handle is this really cool mississippi queen luggage tag from an old mississippi queen Steamboat. Cincinnati, Ohio. It does have someone's um, name and address, so I don't really want to show that one, but it has their stateroom number. So apparently, was this like a small cruise back in the day? This is looks pretty old, and based off the style, I'm going to say 70s. Um, and what's really neat, so again, I just grabbed it really quick. It has a metal zipper and vinyl, like leather looking accents for the trim. Is that I opened it and I was kind of expecting this to smell musty just because you know some of this older stuff does but it even has the little mini travel bag which I thought was neat so anyways um I can't remember what people were listing these for again I don't really go by comps on everything so here are some horseback riding books um I will just lot these together Again, Amazon always has like higher book prices than eBay, so I'll probably just put them together for about $30. I also saw yesterday, somebody had posted that Mercari is now offering media mail shipping, which is great because when I do sell books on Mercari, I have to do like use your own shipping and I typically try to use their labels because it's a lot less work, um, so that will be nice. Alright, I got... Like I said, I was not checking comps. I was just throwing stuff in my cart. And this is brand new sealed. If I see an audiobook or something kind of religious, I will take a second look. These are both sealed. And this is just an audiobook on how to improve your leadership. I actually have thought about reading it for myself um, or listening to it. I guess it's an audiobook. But I'm going to list this for $20, $25. People were selling, I didn't see any new, but people were listing theirs used for like 12, but people really like having something brand new, they could gift it. So 20, 25. 
And this one I don't think was gonna sell for like 15, maybe 20 because mine's sealed. I'll wait and see if there's any other ones brand new. But again, those aren't the $30 marks, but they're brand new sealed. I don't take any measurements because they aren't clothing. So I went ahead and picked those up. I also love selling hats because they're so easy to photograph in store. This was kind of sad because this broke. It has a light blue, looks like an aquamarine stone, probably with cubic zirconias. It's so light, you really can't see the blue hue. If this is absolutely gorgeous, probably from, it looks like a 90s style. And I was trying to open the clasp. This is marked 925. I went to open the clasp and it was kind of stiff because I don't think it had been opened in a while. And it just the joint on right here just came right off so i'm gonna take this to a jeweler that i take my other stuff to and see if it's just a pin like a cheap little fix because i would only probably get 30 or 40 for this um i have something similar that i've had listed for probably a year i think i had up to 70 dollars and um i just don't know that these items are sought after they're not really a trendy piece or something timeless, but a lot of people, I think nowadays, prefer to wear costume jewelry versus genuine, like, gemstones. So. Okay, that is that box. Here's another cherry cloth robe. And this is a junior size, so I think this might be kids. It is old JC Pennies. Right here, it says juniors, and I think it says 10, 12. So I will take measurements, but this will probably fit like a women's extra small. And I'll list it that way because I feel like I can get higher price for it if it's listed as a women's versus a kid's. Okay, I thought this was vintage because it looks like a wool hat and a patch. However, I didn't look at the back. This is a modern hat from some film festival and it goes for like $20, $25. So, yeah. All right, we're getting to the swimsuits. And I think most of these are sets. I even found some with matching pants, like swim cover pants that are sheer, that are really cute. I'm trying to find you guys the matching sets. Before the swimsuits, I guess we have a couple bras. I got these. I'm going to lot them together. This one is brand new with tags. And it is a 40 double D. It's a nice size. It's just um, Bali, which has been around for a very long time. And this one retailed for $42. But this is like new without tags. It's the exact same size and style. So I will lot them together for like $30. And here we have tons of, I got a lot of Victoria's Secret swimsuits. Um, with like some people calling these labels vintage, but I, it's like Y2K. I don't know that it's nineties. I'm not sure, but with all these strings, this is a cute Hawaiian floral halter with the, you can tie the sides. And I remember I used to wear these booty shorts all the time because I felt more covered. I'm actually, I think I'm going to. Look for a tankini set with the booty shorts for my mom bod this summer because I have not gone to the gym yet. <laughs> I'm doing taxes right now. And I don't know about you guys, but the deadline is April 18th to file your taxes. And I'm so glad I get that extra weekend. I am near the end of like doing all my numbers and stuff. And um, it's fine. But it does cause additional stress. And so I haven't been working near as much. But here we have a fun vintage Ralph Lauren sport flag blue one piece with the high cut which is all the rage um I'll probably ask 35 or 40 for that one I'm trying to dig out the sets so I can show you guys all together all right here's one of the Victoria's Secret <coughs> excuse me bikini sets this is has light padding it is an underwire this one's a halter it has the matching bottoms and then I, I used to look and order like every year a new Victoria's Secret uh, swimsuit and I would look forward to it 
but I don't remember seeing the pants or maybe I was too cheap to buy the pants but how cool are these sheer like loose fit pants that match I love this I don't know what I'll sell this set for again I'll check comps and see um, if those are desirable or not I'm assuming they are but I don't know here we have more of a plain simple Victoria's oh I'll show you the tag is this considered 90s? I thought this was Y2K. Yep, he's dead. Anyways, I'll look it up and check. He's one shot. He's one shot. Oh wait, there's actually a year here, I think. 2006, I think. It says April of 06. So when I'm at the thrift or garage sale and I see swimsuits, I always do the stretch test wherever there's the elastic bands. Um, I mean, you guys know elastic, if it's in chlorine or ocean water, it is not rinsed out. It can degrade the elastic and the integrity of the swimsuit. So cute booty shorts with the belt accent. And again, the, there's the tag, the tie black sheer pants that go with. Honestly, if these were my size, I would probably keep them, but they're nowhere near my size. I don't think I could find the bottoms to this, unfortunately. Here's a pink and white floral pant. And I gotta find the top. I don't have the top with me at the moment. We'll find it in a second. Um, here's cute pink one. This one is not Victoria's Secret. This one's Malibu, which was Malibu sold at Target back in the day. I can't remember. These are all Y2K. I think the rest of the suits are buried. Now we're moving on to just, I think, mixed clothing. Okay, I, think it I got this one because it's a plus size. It's R&M Richards Woman, 16W. They're more of like a dressier gown that you would wear to a wedding or a special event. Has this nice beading. It is full length, has a slit, very nice burgundy color. This, that was a three piece set. I got a home and it's a four piece set. It's like an early nineties, maybe late eighties denim set. It has the colorful Hawaiian vest, the belt, the pleated high waisted shorts. And if you don't feel like wearing shorts that day or shaving your leg, you have the optional pant. I mean, how fun is this? It's by Gina Peters. Haven't heard of the brand, but again, with most vintage, it does not matter typically. I will look it up in case it is a little bit more desirable, but really fun set. I really don't know what I will list it for. I thought I saw, oh yeah, there's a little bit of a, looks like color wash, color transfer. I will wash this outfit. And we'll see. I had this on my Instagram stories yesterday. This is by Mulberry Street, which I typically don't pick up their vintage because it's not a uh, cool or bold. But this one caught my eye. It's an Aztec Southwest style white jacket. It does have shoulder pads and it has a cinched waist. I'm looking at the back and it's actually really interesting. It's vented, but look, it's got like the like a u-shaped like so you would cinch it like that also very interesting there are some there is discoloration on the back arm which i didn't notice but again i'll wash it and see if i can get any of that out i do sell a lot of my vintage with flaws with small holes a snag um a stain and as long as it's not something major people typically don't really care Here's a vintage Hawaiian dress. I did not find a brand, but <coughs> it just says made in Hawaii. And it's on a paper tag. I'm going to say, I don't know, 80s. There is some color fade with the black, but it's just like a muumu dress with a ruffle bottom hem. Pretty simple. Again, I probably will just get about $40 for this. I don't know that it's super desirable without a brand and there's a little bit of color fading. 
Back to more swimsuits. Here are the booty shorts that went with, where'd that top go? I feel like I showed you the top to this earlier. It's got the cute belt and look at even a little butt pocket. Didn't I show you? No, that was, that's not the exact one. I don't know. I can't keep it straight. Maybe somewhere in here. This one is fun. This one is charms. And so it jingles. It's a black and white one with embroidery. This one is by Personal Identity. Personal Identity, I can't remember what department store it used to be sold at. And then it has the matching bottoms with more charms. Seriously, I don't think you can sneak up on somebody wearing this. The charms on the hips. It's got the little fold over for the waist. one plus size swim dress. These typically sell for about $20, $25 for me, but they always sell, has a very great sell through rate. Obviously it does depend on the brand. Miracle suits typically sell for about $50 for me. This one is not, this is Rose Mary Reed. It's a two X, very pretty colors. Here is a, this one is more a nineties. I think it's not Y2K. It's by the brand Endless Sun. I think it's older because of the style. Do you see how high cut that is? With the butt. That's what I'm gonna say, 90s. Has the matching halter. And the sarong, or like the pants that go with this. It's a really pretty orange color. It looks kind of pink on camera, but it's more of an orange. I just love these swimsuits. Oh, this makes me want to go on vacation. <laughs> Here are the bottoms. I think these had the matching pants I showed you earlier, but you could easily wear either just like some white bikini bottoms with this. Look really nice if you had a tan. And I think this might be the last swimsuit set I got. I love this one. There is a, like a glitter thread throughout the blue. Love the color combo on this. Another bikini top with some belted booty shorts. Oh, it's a skirt. Even better. Oh my gosh. I love the skirts because then like if you have a wedgie and you feel like your butt cheeks hanging out, you don't have to worry about showing the world your butt. Okay. I did pick up a few jewelry pieces and this box looked unique to me. It was shut. So I went ahead and opened it and it is Bradford Exchange. Let me double check. Yes, Bradford Exchange. And what made me pick it up was that it is a dog breed with these really cool gold and black hoops. This is really cute if you have had or currently own a Bichon Freeze. I don't know, guys. Uh, I cannot read that. These I did look online and a similar brand. I think they retail for about $50. Uh, I just thought they were cute and people love getting stuff with their dogs on it. Next to those, that 60s dress that I started out showing you guys were a few other vintage dresses I haven't really gotten out yet, but I love the blueprint and the collar on this one. Check out the notch collar on this Empire Waist dress. Long sleeve, floor length, the blue. Let's see what kind of zipper. This one is a nylon talon zipper. And this one appears handmade. These clothes, it's still funny because these clothes are spread out throughout the whole big yard sale. But a lot of this stuff I'm smelling has the same scent like someone's powder like perfume powder they used or something it smells all the same and it's not like a, it's pretty strong so it's like ugh. I do not like washing vintage clothing um a lot of times the washers are just too hard on them even if it's on a delicate setting and so 
Unless it's a bad odor, I won't wash it. <sighs> Can't decide. I don't know. I'll probably just list it. Um, okay, this may, this may, I don't know. Um, I have actually done decent with plus size clothing LuLaRoe in the past. I like selling it for $20 to $30. But I got this one. It's a 2X, which is great. But it's also velvet, which is another thing. So I could sell this on style alone. It's very like vampire core, witchy, all that. I was just seeing if there was a tie to it. But it's an open, it's just an open front, long, very long duster. So I think that actually will go for like $30. Here's one of the dresses I got. This is probably more like 80s. Let me look at the tag. Oh, this is a Hawaiian dress. Orchid Fashions. Made in Hawaii. This is tagged a large, but we all know it's probably more of a modern medium. And it's just a light pink smocked midi. Probably not super desirable because it's not like a bright, bold print, but it's got Aloha and Hawaii font with a very light pink is that a hibiscus I'm assuming they had tons and tons of Hawaiian shirts like graphic tees but they were double stitched and they're modern and I thought oh I could buy them and let them together but I don't know I passed on tons of it but this one is single stitched and I really liked the graphic so the front one's not near as big but it is Palancar Reef, Cozumel, Mexico. It's on a, it just says sport. I don't know that tag, but the back graphic is what made me pick it up. Very bright fish print. I love this one. And this is actually, I don't know if they wore it much because it is very white. Maybe only a few times. Yeah, I really like that one. Here, I got a Theory suit. I actually do pretty decent with Theory. I know a lot of people pass on it, but if it's a blazer or some slacks career attire, I will pick it up typically if it is priced right. And this is Y2K. This is probably like a low rise. I remember when I went out into the workforce, I didn't, I couldn't afford Theory. I wore like New York and Company and Loft, but just a nice trouser. And it has the matching blazer, really cute suit set. Here is the Y2K Theory tag. I'm assuming it's wool. Yeah, it's 97% wool and 3% Lycra. And this is made in the USA. I don't know what I'll sell the set for. I'll have to check comps for Theory suits that are Y2K. But I really like the plaid. The, it's like a subtle, I don't know if you'd call that plaid. It's like woven. I don't know how to describe it. It's not tweed because it's a thin fabric. But anyways, moving on. This one's rather loud. Have a set of 1972 um, brass colored cast metal bookends. But it's the set and I don't know I think I could sell these comps from all over the place 35 to 55 I don't know anyways I think I drafted these for like $50 these are a nice shape I don't see it's got the I think somebody added felt on the bottom or maybe they originally had it but they are dated I got a butterfly wallflower. Um, I don't see it's on the side. I love this. Um, I don't know that these are collectible. I'll have to check, but if not, I will just keep. I love butterflies and the color is just gorgeous. I'm gonna set that off to the side because I need to look that one up. And then this one I was kind of disappointed in. Um, I didn't realize when I picked it up, but I did notice it was genuine stone when you pick up like a necklace or something that looks like it might be stone if it's cold to the touch 
it's most likely stone. If it's plastic, it would not be cold to the touch. Obviously, if it's been outside or it's, if it's in a cold place, yes, but this was cold to the touch and it was marked with the foil sticker. This is genuine alabaster. It is hand carved and it says made in Italy. But when I got home, do you guys see there's like a little crease here? This is a sticker. I thought this was painted or like a transfer. Unfortunately, it is just a sticker, but I don't want to remove it because I do like it. I just wish there was not that crease there to show that it is indeed a sticker. So people were only pricing these like 15 to 20. I do not see any chips or cracks, so I may, I don't know. Yeah, I'll probably just list it for what other people are selling it for because I don't really want to sit on it. There is a darker, when they conjoined all the stones, oh, sorry, wrong side. Do you see the, the darker color? I'm not a huge fan of that, but I'm guessing it's natural. Hopefully I don't break that before I list it. My one-year-old was very intrigued by the bookends, but they are so heavy. I had to take them away from her and she was absolutely devastated. If you have a one-year-old or a toddler, you know that it's like the end of the world when they do not get their way. This one I debated on just because this is fake. It's a lower quality, but it's a classic Steve Madden with the removable strap. It's black. It's got the nice gold hardware and this looks like new if there's any wear to it i would have passed has a big zipper um i feel like steve madden used to be a lot better quality in the 90s and now i see their stuff in marshall's and tj maxx and it feels very cheap but they do have a higher line isn't it called just steve um that does a lot better for me but i typically pass on this brand but it was classic and again the price point a quarter I went ahead and picked it up. Okay, I have this one wrapped because she's a little delicate. And I love finding vintage Halloween stuff. I don't find it near as often as I wish. It just brings back memories, like nostalgia. Uh, this is a bottle doll. I don't think she's the greatest made bottle dolls or like homemade dolls you use with a leftover cleaner bottle. But I loved her face with the wart. She's holding a broom. She is pinned here. I may try to make that look a little bit better and hide the pin. Um, her felt hat also needs a little reshaping. I do, I'm going to think I might add a little ribbon here, but these sell well. I'm probably going to list her for $50. Really. I typically sell the Mr. and Mrs. Claus bottle dolls as long as they're well made with the kitschy faces from like the 50s or 60s. They typically sell for about $50 or $60 for me and I find them very cheap. But I want to keep her well protected um, so she doesn't get too damaged. Here we have a Bell Howard, or no, not Bell Howell, vintage camera in the nice vinyl case. It's a 35 millimeter camera. Again, comps, or um, people have these listed all over the place, but the one currently listed on eBay is 28 bucks with the case, so I'm going to list mine for the same. Something that is also big breaking news is if you're an Etsy seller or thinking about being an Etsy seller, they are starting to roll out with some sellers, if you sell vintage, beta testing for sending offers to likers, or no, accepting offers, sorry. Because I do sometimes occasionally get people messaging me on eBay or Etsy asking if I would accept a lower price. And I've always told you guys in the past, I've had amazing Etsy buyers. They're very um, understanding, like no drama, no extreme questions or threats or anything like that that you may see on other platforms. And so for them to offer, send us offers, I'm totally for it. So I am starting to list my items a little bit higher than I do on eBay because eBay, I do like a flat price. And on Etsy, I do will need to have a little bit of room for negotiation. So that was big news. And a lot of people that sell on Etsy are very excited. Um, I will tell you a little story. I've never had an, an issue with an Etsy buyer ever. I've gotten all five stars. Um, I try to be very, very detailed with my pictures and very straightforward with any flaws. And 
I had a listing. It was an old ring. I think it was from about the 30s or 40s. The back of the band was thinner because it had been worn and it sold for about $90 on Etsy recently and the buyer was very upset. I have a ring sizer. I showed a picture of the ring on the ring sizer with the size and the buyer was saying it was way too small and it was very worn and it was way high priced for what it was and that she wanted to return it. I received that message last night when we had like tornado warnings and it was very stressful. And of course I was very upset because I've already deposited like about a hundred bucks into my bank account, which I honestly should have waited, but I jumped the gun. And so now I have to take money from my personal account to refund her. I did decide to give it almost 24 hours before I responded because the buyer is most likely going to calm down and be more rational to communicate with. And also I've had time to process and understand and how do I professionally respond? I typically do not accept returns, especially when it states and shows every single little angle of this ring, but I did, it is like a desirable style and I did have interest with this ring on other platforms. So I'm simply going to let her know that I will accept an return, but she does have to pay for return shipping and I will refund her when I receive the item. So we will see how that goes. Again, if she leaves me a negative review, it's not the end of the world. I have never gotten any low ratings on Etsy and I don't let it affect me like I used to back in the day. So a little side story. Okay. Let's finish this up so I can do other things today. Can't take too long on all this stuff. All right, here we have a really neat vintage board game. I do not like listing board games. I have a big pile of them in my garage. It takes so much time, I feel like, to look inside, make sure all the pieces are there. You have to know what pieces are supposed to be in the game and blah, 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 blah. But this one, I think, goes between $40 and $70. And uh, we, my boys have always been really into trains, so I just got it for us. It looks like a Monopoly game kind of for trains and like the, rail, the railroad. Um, I was trying to look for a year. It looks like 80s is what I'm going to say. So anyways, I will probably sell it. Um, anyways, so yeah, just an interesting old board game. I love this cottage core style jacket. It is quilted white floral. It's like slightly insulated. It's a mid-weight jacket and it is Vermont country store. Like new. I've sold vintage curl hair curlers in the past for a long, like not a lot of money. I think they used to be worth more than they are now because it's oversaturated. But TikTok has made certain hair curlers go viral and it has driven the price way up. <laughs> I'm so sorry, my allergies are going crazy right now. Um, these are benders. These are not, again, I had no reception at this sale, so I could not check comps. But these are very interesting because they are bendable, and I think these would be easier than a curler. I may actually try these because I currently don't have any curlers, but it's very soft and flexible. And the only issue would be they're hot, so how do you put them in your hair without you burning your fingers? You might have to wear like heat protected gloves, which I do not own a pair right now. And the shell is like vinyl and the trim is shedding, like it's coating, it's kind of yuck. But plug-in curlers, interesting, interesting. I think the best curlers I've had luck with are the mist, the, like the mist ones. These are not those, but I thought for some reason when I was in at the yard sale, I heard somebody before mention on social media somewhere that the foam hair rollers make good money. And I thought for some reason these might've been it, but they are not. They're the custom care set. They have felt right here. I think I used to have a similar set. They do have the hairpins, which obviously are important to secure the hair. And they look fairly clean. I do not like getting curlers that are covered in someone else's hair. I'm not gonna pick that out. So I will simply plug it in, make sure they get hot, and list them. Both curlers I could probably get $30, $35 for. Those, the green ones, um, I don't think they're as desirable as actual hair curlers. 
here's a modern item shocker but when I find American Eagle brand new with tags and it's like a very desirable style these my size but I just I can't I mean the inseam is probably three inches I just don't know that I'm there yet to wear short shorts but it's got a button fly these retail for $55 and they are the Tom girl style sits low on the hip which seems to be a very popular I was gonna look at let me look at the year and see huh I, why can't I find it oh wow this is clear from 2017 that's crazy I was expecting them to be a newer style we got some can cans I might hang on to these. I am not a size 29 yet. I'm hoping by the end of the summer I will be. But I love this straight leg, ripped knee, kind of like grunge style. It's a medium wash. So I'm thinking I'm gonna set this off to the side. I love Western rodeo wear. Here we have a denim shirt with cute little horses. It's like needlepoint and boots. If I get close enough so you guys can all see, you can layer this and wear it as kind of like a jacket because it's it's not super thick denim, but it's not chambray. I got this nice straw woven bag. I love the bamboo handles and it's two top two toned. Nice bohemian beachy bag. This is vintage. And I got some discontinued beauty product. Wish there were more. Um, this one was $2. It, if I, what made me get it was because it was collagen and it looked like a slightly older bottle and it is full. This is, I believe this is new. Cause I think you can only sell new beauty products, but um, I don't see an expiration date on here. However, this is discontinued, so I think these sell for like $25 plus shipping. Maybe, no, yeah, I'm gonna say 25. I do not want that to leak. Um, these shoes really surprised me. I initially got them for my daughter, but I had my nephew over who's really into sports, and he said these are the Patrick shoes, and I thought he was talking about some athlete. But then I saw it said Nickelodeon on the front and I looked them up and yes, these are very expensive sneakers. Collab with uh, Kyrie. These are the Kyrie fives. These are a girl's 11. I really wish they were a men's size because they could sell for hundreds of dollars. There's my son raging on Roblox probably. But yeah, these are really fun. However, I got my daughter tons of shoes at this yard sale, so she does not need sneakers. Um, I don't know what I could sell these for. We'll see. They're very clean, though. Um, I'm going to say 50 to 75 I got some Scentsy for myself. I've actually been out for a few months, which is unlike me. I always love having the house smell good. I got some vintage, like, these... I think this is wool. However, there's no tag. One of them is new in the package. I got three of these vintage striped blankets and they have this funky, it's like, it reminds me of like polyurethane. It's supposed to be like a durable trim. One of them is, I'll show you the packaging. I did look these up on eBay and could not find any. I was trying to find the fabric content. One is new in the package. And so I can show it to you guys and let me know if you've heard of it or sold one. The others are in this bag and I think this is the last bag that concludes my very long haul. This probably won't go up till next week because it will take so long to edit and upload. Here's the one that's probably new. It's by Fodor, F-O-D-O-R. And it says it's ideal for car, picnic, beach, travel, camping. It's um, a durable binding and it is the Hispanica colorway or what they just call this a Hispanica blanket which is so weird because it looks like Hispanic but Hispanica 
but it's English. So I'm a bit confused. I love the colors. This is, I love the colors, but I got that and this one. They were $1.50 each. I think the one that was actually out of the package was more. I think it was $2, but yeah, they looked new. I just don't know if it's acrylic or it's wool. It feels like wool, but I want to be certain. I don't want to sell something that is not accurate. I fell in love with this cruel knit pillow. Um, granny core, perfect for spring. If it had a different color trim, I would probably keep it for us, but dollar can't go wrong. Beautiful butterflies and some daisies. I don't know if I'll sell these. I think these are kind of desirable because I've sold a few sets before, um, but these were like 25 cents. I had these at my grandparents' house. I think they're from the 80s or 90s from Japan by Donnie. Disney uh, toddler utensils. I've got two minis and a Donald Duck. Really cute. Um, like I said, I may keep these. I will check comps though because I haven't ran anything. We got lots of pacifiers. My one-year-old has now latched onto pacifiers and uh, we lose them all the time. This is so cute. It is a Woodstock baby brush. If you had a Snoopy themed nursery, this is so cute and it's an Avon. I've actually done well selling vintage Avon stuff, like even their jewelry, surprisingly. It's just cute, you know? I also forgot to film these. This is a really cute wool hat with like a nice accent here. I paid $5 for it, but it's made in Mexico. It seems like very high quality. And it's just like a nice kind of Western style cowgirl hat. So I don't know what I'll list it for. I may start at about $50. We'll wait and see. And here we have a welding mask. What made me get this, this is very dusty. I have not cleaned it yet, but it does have the shield guard and it is made in the USA. So I will look this up. If it's not worth much, I'll just give it to my sons. My five-year-old, or yeah, he's five, <laughs> almost six, uh, already asked if he could play with it. And I said, no, we'll wait and see how much I can get for that. The last piece, I believe. I have not opened this yet, but I will open it with you guys. So this is a queen bedspread. They had amazing linens at this one sale that I paid up for. Well, I didn't pay a quarter for um, however, their linens were higher priced than their previous sales they've had. I think they're like 10 to $20 a piece and I don't desperately need inventory at the moment. So I don't really want to pay up, but this had some embroidery on it. And I think this is a handmade quilt. I'm not sure why they priced it so low because their other quilts they did mark up. I do see some wear on the edge now that I'm looking at it, but I've sold damaged quilts before for a hundred dollars. So... My aunts make a lot of quilts and it is very time consuming, measuring and cutting all the squares and fabric and then you have to sew it all together. So I will keep that so I remember when I go to list at how much I paid for it. I don't average out my cost of goods. I just don't because I'll pay up for certain items, obviously when they're higher comps. So, but you do you. Okay, I'm trying to unfold this for you guys. Oh, this is so pretty. I'm hoping it's not too damaged. So it's a white and blue, very country. Love the edging embroidery. Really pretty. It is clean, which is nice because sometimes the white will be yellowed or there'll be blood stains, which is kind of gross, but I do love it. Um, the backing is simply white however you can see here there is some wear on the edges which is fine you could easily just if you know how to sew just roll it and secure the seam so it doesn't continue fraying but this is really pretty they size this at a queen goodness oh, what can i get for this i don't know like 150 i will look up this 
style to see if it was a certain design or pattern. But that is all I got, folks. I probably won't go thrifting for a while because I seriously have no other storage places for my stuff. My kitchen has one, two, three, four. It has two bags and two boxes. Like, honestly, I have nowhere. And I will probably have to put this stuff in the garage. So I hope you guys enjoyed my big haul. I probably won't film haul videos for a while. So I'll be posting other content, but probably not for the next couple weeks because I really need to get my taxes done so I can move forward and focus on my business. So I hope you guys enjoyed this very long haul. Comment down below what your favorite item was out of everything I showed you. And I will catch you guys on my next video. All right. Have a great day, guys. Bye.